transition era and isn't doesn't seem to be happening, though uh, it is. I just want to assure you that it is, in spite of um, what it looks like. These are the experiences that will actually help us grow and expand, whether it be uh, sort of this rise of um, uh, of the uh, right, where there's a lot of intolerance uh, aimed at uh, immigrants and so on, or whether it be uh, what's going on in the Middle East, or whether it be uh, you know uh, racial unrest in this country. It's part of the process, I guess, is the, what I'm trying to say. All right, so now we can finally get to mystical experiences, since we don't have much time left. But, so, what is a mystical experience? So, the idea of the mystical experience, of course, has been around uh, forever, I would imagine. But the term really sort of developed in this period of the 19th century, that same period where you have things like the New Thought Movement developing, which we you know, spent a couple of episodes on. The mystical experience uh, is related to mysticism, but when we say, when we talk about a mystical experience, we're talking about its experiential aspect, uh, how it felt, um, it's more narrow. It's, it's the experience rather than uh, the process uh, that mysticism is. Uh, the mystical experience is what maybe sets us on a road of st studying mysticism. Uh, mystical, tra uh, uh, mystical traditions uh, have been in existence in every religion in, that, that's ever been. So it goes beyond religion. And now there's been research in neurology that uh, where the brain uh, has been studied when involved in mystical experiences. And uh, We've discovered that the temporal lobe is, is I involved, but um, still no, uh, no understanding of, of where it comes from has been, ha has been you know, uh, explained by science. Now, now mystical experience uh, you know, is often inter used interchangeably with religious experience. But, you know, it, it, as I often say on this show, uh, there's a big difference. Because a religious experience, you know, is experienced within the framework of the religion that you may be involved in. So when you hear about someone who's had an experience where they have uh, seen the Mother Mary, or you know, seeing Jesus in a in a in a coffee cup, or one of those things, you know, that's a religious experience. It's a mystical experience, but it's a mystical experience uh, uh, draped in or you know, masked in uh, religious trappings. So perhaps a good place to start is to talk about the different types of mystical experiences. So, uh, well, let's go back to Mr. William James, who we've drawn upon before from his varieties of religious experience. Uh, in mystic states, we both become one with the absolute, and we become aware of our oneness. This is the everlasting and triumphant mystical tradition, hardly altered by differences of clime or creed. In Hinduism, Neoplatonism, Sufism, Christian mysticism, we find the same recurring note, so that there is about mystical utterances an eternal unanimity. So, uh, let's talk 
talk about then uh, the types of mystical experiences that um, are there because there are categories of them. Um, they can also be referred to as altered states of consciousness. And uh, such states may involve ineffable awareness of time, space, and physical reality. In other words, time, space, and physical reality become um, a little wonky. Mystical experiences often defy physical description and can best be only hinted at or produced through art or uh, represented by music. Um, artists are often great mystics. Such experiences are universal and share common characteristics despite the culture or religion in which they occur and are invariably spiritual, yet they may not be religious. That is, they're not limited to monks or priests or even people who are uh, involved in a religion. However, conversely is not the same. All personal religious experiences are rooted in mystical states of consciousness. But not all mystical experiences are religious. But every religion has a mystical experience in its uh, in its cadre, if you will. So now uh, let's talk about the different types of mystical experience. There is theistic mysticism. This involves seeing or feeling the presence uh, of a force or a, a presence of, a, of some kind uh, which is connected to or uh, represents the highest power. And uh, again, if it's done as a religious experience, it might be Jesus uh, or Krishna or Kali or um, you might see a bear spirit if you have a belief in uh, Native American spirituality, or it could be just a, something general. Um, it's frequently described as, I felt that I was in God's arms. I could hear what God was saying to me. God was there to help me, guide me in my life. So that's one kind of mysticism, a theist, theistic mysticism where you are feeling the presence of God or something God-like. The monistic mysticism uh, is where the person states that the whole world evolves around a central point. Everything internal and external to that person is somehow attracted to or comes out of a central point. Uh, it's often described this way. I saw everything fall away and be absorbed. I saw an infinite becoming and an infinite disappearing in every moment. So it's sort of everything going back to the oneness. Uh, and there is a pantheistic mysticism. Here one feels the totality of the external world is the greatest power and that one can see themselves as part of that totality. In other words, you see yourself in everyone and everyone in you. The term pantheism has been selected to label this because the Greek word combines the words pan, all, and theo, God. Very apt choice of words. In other words, from the pan pantheistic mysticism, you see God in everything. And you see yourself in everything, too. I felt myself one with the grass, the trees, birds, everything in nature. That's how you would describe a pantheistic mystical encounter. And then there are mystical unions and visions. <coughs> and those are the, well, that's the common element of all the, the different types of mystical experiences. They each in their own way provide the feeling of union, of 
oneness with a, a, a singularity, uh, with perhaps a divine figure or, or the world. The union tends to become the most central point of the multifaceted, powerful experience because it provides the beholder with something rarely felt, completion. So next week, perhaps we will talk about the types of visions and different mystical uh, experiences that uh, people have talked about. And if you have one of your own that you've had, I would love to hear about it. And you can uh, contact me, you can email me uh, here at, uh, at the, the, the station here, uh, here at Spreaker.com. You can contact me at my webpage, which is H Wil on, fa on Facebook. Uh, my Facebook webpage is uh, H Wilkinson Media. That's H-W-I-L-K-I-N-S-O-N -I -I Media. And you can post on Facebook uh, what you uh, think about uh, mystical experiences and if you've had one. Or you can message me directly uh, uh, on, the, on that page as well. So it's uh, at Facebook.com H. Wilkinson Media. So I hope to hear from you. I'm going to leave you with this amazing article. Uh, this comes from a uh, reverend uh, in the uh, church, in Unity Church. Um, and she talks about um, this uh, uh, incredible illness that she had where she felt herself slipping away and uh, how she heard her sister praying and felt other people praying for her. She says, during the darkest moments I have a few memories of my sister reading prayers that people were leaving on Facebook and Caring Bridge. I think that's another social media platform. While I don't recall the words of the prayers, each time my sister read the person's name who was praying for me, I was instantly transported to that person. It was not like a memory, but rather as though I was with him or her in real time, experiencing the power of our relationship. This was the healing that began to sustain me and keep me in the world. Everyone became my savior, supporting me in my resurrection and making the impossible possible fascinating experience feeling a mystical connection and being with uh, people who aren't uh, physically present in the same space as you very interesting so we will are going to have more about mystical experiences in the weeks to come but till then please stay mm -hmm.